Ren's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. What about you, though? Are you okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is, this is getting called the Woman's Wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. You got a mail. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the triangle button. You can also save images and messages. the police report yeah guess we'll hear something sooner or later worst case we'll just let her stick around here don't even think about making a move on her all right <laughs> you're one to talk you got your own shit to figure out first you seriously okay man they say men who cheat get cursed curse that's so stupid I can't even laugh at it <laughs> the timing's too good still I can't believe you cheated but if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Maybe so, but... <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Bad or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. You got a mail. She hit a wrong note. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me, no matter how cute she is. Anyway, you and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. You're actually really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. You got a mail.
drink, you can raise your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Shit. I've never cheated in my life before. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Rum is made from the sugar cane grown in the Caribbean. Other popular cocktails that feature rum include the Mai Tai, the Mojito, and the Pina Colada. How about pairing a nice cocktail with a juicy steak? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Hey, can I get a drink? Understood. Here you go. Uh, uh, Ren, I didn't order wine. It looks really expensive. The full-bodied stuff? I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine for those who are enjoying Catherine full body. Unlike white wine, red wine isn't categorized as sweet or dry. To express the richness of a red wine, it is described by likening it to the shape of a woman's body. Light, medium, and full. Hmm, I wonder what a full body looks like. And that was the trivia for tonight. Please enjoy a variety of alcoholic drinks and learn more trivia facts. Rin, that wine is for another customer. Oh? Sorry, I made a mistake. Well, don't worry about it. But please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to order. Would you like to order? I'll try sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Mm. No use worrying about it now. Just have to accept it as a one-time screw. I'm glad Rin's doing okay, but the performance is still. Well. Mm. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about sake for you, as you seem to have finished your cup. Daiginjo and Honjozo are two of the many varieties of sake a brand produces. Do you know what differentiates one type from another? The differences in the varieties of sake can be attributed to the degree of polishing the rice undergoes during the brewing process. The ginjo contains the highest amount of polished rice, followed by ginjo and honjozo. Junmai is produced without using brewer's alcohol. Compared to the average polishing ratio of 90%, a minimum of 50% of the rice must be polished away to classify a sake as daiginjo. So much is forsaken to acquire such an exquisite taste. Be sure to drink every last drop. And that was the sake trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want to drink? Yeah. I need a beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm, okay. Here you go. So how's work? Doing well? Hey, come on. I came here to forget about that shit. Okay, let's talk about that curse. Never mind. If you're done bringing us drinks, then scram. <sighs> you're so cold. Never cheated in my life before. Mm. Oh, cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. Mm. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your pint glass. 
Do you know what craft beer is? To be classified as craft beer, it must be made by small, independent breweries. Finding local breweries and tasting their unique, well-crafted offerings. Now that makes for a most memorable trip. And that was the beer trivia for the night. Empty already? You still want a drink? Yeah. Have some wine. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm, okay. Here you go. Oof. No use worrying about it now. Just have to accept it as a one time screw up. I'm glad Rin's doing okay, but her performance is still... Well... <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine, now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know why red wine and white wine differ in color? Red wine is produced by fermenting everything, including the skin and seed, while white wine only requires the juice to be fermented. As a result, red wine tastes bitter, and white wine tastes fruity. Either you enjoy the bitterness, or you pursue the sweetness. Oh? Sounds like the story of a certain someone's life. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? What would you like? No thanks, I'll pass. To Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. sit. Have you ever heard this story before? The, the man, man who climbs, climbs the highest mountain gets his, his every wish granted. granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legends? Huh? That's Catherine. Oh, hello. It's me. What is it, Catherine? Well... Catherine? It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. Huh? Good night. Mr. Morgan will like that piano. I wonder if that piano will bless Mr. Morgan. You got a mail.
new leads today either. This is breaking news in our ongoing coverage of the rash of mysterious weakening deaths. The following people were proclaimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That's all we currently have on this story. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. It was decided that the eldest son of the famed oil baron Baril will inherit nearly 30 oil fields. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up when you can. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. <laughs> that pianist seems to have a rather unique style. Well, I welcome the change of pace. This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Come to think of it. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Wow. Every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around, too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely, there's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Mm, to live forever? Not too typical? Me? I wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past, or make someone kill me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but they're a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with techniques. You got a mail. in public? I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. Uh, but tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gaze. Regardless, let's both try to avoid any curses and deaths, shall we? Uh, I think I'll go home for today. My head hurts. Quite a few customers come here just to see Erica, which is great for business. And now we have Ray. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you can have too much of a good thing. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Stalker was. Rin doesn't seem worried, but you can never be too careful. Oh shit, it's the fan. You'll protect her, right? It's your problem too? Seriously. Anyway, you a cheater? Who would have thought? Don't you care about Catherine? Um, of course, but 
feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? Just don't be a bad influence, okay? Rin's no child, but still, I've never seen someone so innocent. I feel like I need to step up and be Mama Erica. You're not filling me with confidence here. <laughs> Time passes so slowly here. It's really nice. What do you usually do here, Vincent? Uh, oh, um, well... I guess I drink and relax. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I'd love to join you when things aren't so crazy. Oh, uh, <laughs> Be careful, Vincent. What do you mean? Um, it's hard to explain, but I have a tingling feeling like something's coming. Oh, are you sick? You should probably get some rest. <laughs> of course. I was just strolling around. torture chamber. I wonder what kind of punishment will be waiting for you. Huh? What's this? A hidden shelf? There's something inside. What are these? Glasses? I guess I'll try them on. If you ever wish to take those naughty glasses on or off, make your way to the bar's restroom. Have fun. You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam. His wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Wow, is it that late already? can't hurt her anymore. Yo, Vincent, we're leaving now. You're not going home yet? Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. Oof. How long are you going to avoid the inevitable? <laughs> You'll have to pay for your sins. Did I, did I just hear something? voice. Why are you here? I thought you'd be here around this time. Just like last night. Uh, about yesterday. I don't really remember that much. And actually, I... Oh, hey! Do you want me to wake up early tomorrow and make you breakfast? What do you want to eat? I'm a pretty good cook. No! Huh? Why not? N not today, I mean. 
more than today. Just, I, I can't. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> I'm going to the restroom. No, no more. No more cheating. Okay. Boom! Why are you... You were taking forever uh, and I got worried. Oh, well, I'll see you... Huh? Uh... You can't leave me now! We finally have a moment to ourselves! Oh! Oh no! I'm all wet! Mm. Like it? Uh, I'll go get a towel. <laughs> It's just bad. I, if someone saw us like this, I... Why are you acting all embarrassed? You want to leave right now, then? J just no. All right. change the background music in the bar. The selections of songs will increase as you progress through the story. Try them out. machine to play a video game. You can play up to three games a night. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of moves. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over. So take your time in solving the puzzle. You can change the puzzle mode in the config menu. Trying out different modes might lead you to discover new techniques. There are many challenges hidden in this game. Try them out. I remember this. Let's do this!
Seriously? No more continues, maybe? <laughs> It's just bad. If someone saw us like this, I... Why are you acting all embarrassed? You want to leave right now, then? J just... no. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Minecraft Productions here. And I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who has donated so far. And an even bigger thank you if you could go down in the link below and donate to our cause for the British Heart Foundation. We did a Tough Mudder early May, and it'll be great if we can reach our goal. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Maybe go check out my channel when you have a chance. And thank you again. <laughs>